Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial equation. Now, when I thought about this problem, I thought about a method that would be a little interesting and elegant, but then I realized there's also a really quick, nice solution to this problem. Anyways, I'll present both methods, but we'll start with the second method. Why? Because it's an overkill, but it's fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and start, and we haven't done a second method uh, first for a while, so for, for change. So here's the second method. Like I said earlier, this is going to be an overkill, so bear with me. We have an expression, and uh, we can add x cubed to both sides. I want to get the cube to the other side, but then I don't want to use this as is. I want to use difference of two cubes. You'll see in a little bit why because it's going to give me a perfect square. My goal is to get a difference of two squares on one side and a difference of two cubes on the other side so that when I factor them, I get a common factor. Like I said earlier, this is definitely an overkill, So, but it works. Anyways, so since I want to get a difference of two squares, I mean cubes and squares, both, I'll be subtracting 16 from both sides because that achieves both at the same time. So that's why I'm subtracting 8, uh, 16 from both sides. And of course, 8 minus 16 is a negative 8. And that produces difference of two cubes, as you can see, right? Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and factor it. Left-hand side, difference of two squares. So think about it as x plus 2 plus 4 and x plus 2 minus 4. And the right-hand side is x minus 2 because it's a cubed minus b cubed and then x squared plus 2x plus 4. So what is the big deal? The big deal comes from here. This is x minus 2, and we get a common factor. That's what I was trying to do, and there is different versions of this problem, which we'll do later, different numbers. Hopefully, they're not going to be that straightforward to solve with the first method. But let's finish the second method first. Okay, great. Now, I have the following. Let's go ahead and write this first, the right-hand side on the left-hand side. So x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals x minus 2 times x plus 6 because this becomes x plus 2 plus 4. And now we do have x minus 2. Let's go ahead and subtract x minus 2 times x plus 6 from both sides. So therefore, uh, we're bringing those two terms together so that we can set it equal to 0, which is what we should always do, almost always. And then uh, using the common factor, x minus 2, we can go ahead and factor this, x minus 2 out, and then we get x squared plus 2x plus 4 minus x minus 6. You have to negate both of these terms, okay? And set it equal to 0, the rest should be fairly easy. Okay, let's do it though. x squared plus 2x minus x plus x minus 2 equals 0. The quadratic is factorable. Think about it. Two numbers whose product is negative 2 and whose sum is positive 1. Those numbers are 2 and negative 1. This gives us x plus 2 times x minus 1. Kind of like the x method without the leading coefficient. And now this is equal to 0. And of course, this is a factored cubic. Perfect, right? We can go ahead and write the solution set negative 2, 1, and 2. Those are going to be the x values. If they're all valid, and you can test them out if you want. I mean, let's go ahead and plug them in if you want, if you're really curious about it. Uh, for example, if x is equal to negative 2, we're going to get a 0 minus negative 8. And of course, that's equal to 8. If you plug in 1, 1 plus 2 squared minus 1 cubed. This is 3 squared, which is 9 minus 1. Of course, that's also 8. And then if you plug in 2, 2 plus 2 squared minus 2 cubed is going to be 4 squared, which is 16 minus 8. Again, that's 8. So there are three values, which shouldn't be a surprise because this is a cubic equation. And of course, there's a third method, which I haven't mentioned, but the third method would be using the cubic formula. Super overkill. That's why we're not going to do it. But I'll still show you the first method because it's actually cooler. Or you'll get to decide. It's up to you. So here's the first method. So let's rewrite the original problem. It's kind of like a weird expression where perfect square minus a perfect cube gives you a perfect cube, right? Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to expand it. x plus 2 squared is 
x squared plus 4x plus 4 and then subtract x cubed from it. But let's go ahead and collect everything on the right hand side where x cubed will become positive. So we get x cubed and then minus x squared minus 4x and then 8 minus 4 is just going to be positive. As soon as I did this, I realized, oh no, this is easily factorable. Do you see what I see? Okay, I hope you do. Because look at the first two terms. x squared can be taken out. That gives us x minus 1. And then you can take out a negative 4, and this becomes super duper easy. Now, what happens if you try to do it a little differently? Yeah, you can get away with that, I think. For example, you could pair up these two with a minus sign there, are going to give you a difference of two squares. And then these two guys over here with the x out is going to give you x squared minus 4, which is the difference of two squares. Again, you can do the same thing. Make sense? So take out x minus 1 from here and x squared minus 4, of course, is the difference of 2 squared. Again, it's always the same thing, x plus 2, x minus 2, and we get the exact same solutions, x equals 1, x equals negative 2, and x equals 2. And you know that they already checked, right? Okay, so again, this would be a super duper overkill, but if you wanted to use the cubic formula, what would you do? I'm not going to really go into the depth, but I just want to quickly show you what that's going to look like. First, you have to get rid of the x squared. So you would replace x with y plus y plus one third because of the coefficient of x squared. Oh, man, that's going to be crazy, but it works. But again, this is just going to be a super duper overkill. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.